Welcome to an updated weather briefing for the potential winter storm on February 19th and 20th, brought to you by the National Weather Service in Las Vegas. The briefing will cover an overview of the potential winter storm system expected Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll discuss the current expectations, the potential impacts, and our forecast confidence. We will now look at a series of images depicting the upper level pressure in contours, relative temperatures and colors, where the warm colors represent uh, warmer temperatures. I've also highlighted the troughs and ridges of interest. So after a series of pleasant days across the region, a train of ridges and troughs will begin to impact the area this weekend. Saturday will remain benign as a weak ridge remains in place across the area. A weak trough is expected to move across the central Great Basin Sunday, bringing some enhanced north winds to portions of Esmeralda, Nye, and Lincoln counties. Another weak ridge will move across the area Monday. Temperatures should remain above normal, but there may be some breezy winds down the Colorado River Valley. Here you can see the main trough has dropped south just off the Washington coast. As it continues to drop south, winds will increase across the higher elevations of the Sierra, potentially leading to downslope wind conditions along the eastern slopes by Monday night. The main trough and its associated low pressure center will continue to drop south along the coast Tuesday. This will spread breezy to windy conditions across the area. Precipitation is expected to begin across the western part of the forecast area by Tuesday morning. We'll go into more specifics later in the presentation. By Wednesday morning, the system will be located directly over the forecast area, with widespread rain and snow expected to begin spreading across the area. The cold temperatures associated with the system will cause snow levels to drop dramatically by Wednesday morning. At this time, it appears snow may be possible at any locations across the forecast area. The main trough begins to exit the area to the east by Wednesday evening, leaving breezy north winds and colder temperatures in its wake. Even by Thursday afternoon, cooler temperatures appear to remain over the area. In addition, a broad trough will leave the door open for additional systems to impact the area late into the week and possibly into the weekend. Now that we have an idea on the overall evolution, let's look at what we can expect from this system. As mentioned before, chances for precipitation will spread from west to east Tuesday and Wednesday. With the cold air associated with this system, we cannot rule out the potential for a few embedded thunderstorms with heavier showers. Snowfall totals listed here are preliminary numbers and could change significantly over the next few days. In general, a trace to 2 or 3 inches of snow is possible below 2,500 to 3,000 feet, with greater amounts possible above 3,000 feet. Though rain is the most likely form of precipitation below 2,500 to 3,000 feet, snow may occur early Wednesday morning or with heavier showers or thunderstorms. Looking at some of the potential impacts from the system, Rain as well as snow and ice will create slick roadways and reduced visibilities, mainly Tuesday night through Wednesday. This may cause travel over area passes to become difficult or even impossible at times. Finally, morning fog is a possibility Wednesday and Thursday mornings in areas that receive rain or snow. While the potential for widespread strong winds with the system has decreased a bit over the last day or two, breezy to windy conditions will remain possible during the event. The first threat of winds would be of the downslope variety Monday night into Tuesday morning along the eastern slopes of the Sierra with wind gusts of 50 to 70 miles per hour possible. The next threat would be a slightly weaker downslope wind event along the eastern slopes of the Spring Mountains Tuesday. Widespread windy conditions are expected to develop across San Bernardino, Clark, Lincoln, and Mojave counties on Tuesday. As the system moves east Wednesday, gusty north winds will spread across much of the area. Winds will create strong crosswinds on area roadways. Visibility may become reduced at times due to blowing dust or even sand and snow. Be sure to secure any loose items that may blow away in gusty conditions. Finally, we will look at the forecast confidence for this event. Confidence is high in the widespread wind and snow showers moving across the area, as well as the development of gusty winds and much cooler temperatures. That said, confidence begins to decrease when looking at the exact timing of the primary area of precipitation. Confidence falls even more when trying to pinpoint the location and intensity of the heaviest precipitation. The total rain and snow amounts are also uncertain, as well as the occurrence and strength of the downslope winds.
This concludes our updated weather briefing for the potential storm next week. Please stay tuned for additional information in the coming days. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, information to find us is available at the bottom of the slide.